Morning everyone. It is 7.30, looks like. Just getting started for the day, right back into the snow. Just went down a steep descent right there. According to gut hook comments, the snow pretty much ends within the next couple miles. So hopefully, hopefully, only another hour or two uh, before we're below the snow. Slept great last night. Didn't get terribly cold or anything like that. Did a nice uh, stretch routine this morning. So that made me feel a lot better. I was pretty, pretty tight getting up there. Like I said, 19 miles to the highway. Um, I'm not sure that we're gonna end up making it there, but maybe the campsite before there, which I think is 15 for the day. That would leave us with a short four mile Nero into town tomorrow. We'll have to see how the day goes, and how slow we end up going. There was another guy camped at our site this morning. He came over and talked to us for a moment. But uh, this guy that we know, or at least know of, he's been hiking around us for a while. He fell yesterday and had to be airlifted out. I think he dislocated his shoulder or something like that. Pretty crazy. Shit's no joke. Way down there is Cabazon. Um, I know that because I can see the casino. <laughs> it's just one giant building that stands out from everything else. It's definitely what it is. So we could possibly be there tonight or sometime tomorrow. View just keeps getting better and better. Let me turn it around here. Ooh. It's so nice when you take the micro spikes off. Your feet feel so much lighter. And when you're walking with micro spikes and there's no snow on the ground, you know, for short stretches like this, it's just really uncomfortable. It just feels awkward. I think we're pretty much through everything. Should be pretty dry from here on out. And now we have a very, very long decline. Let's see how the knees hold up. And when I say long, I mean like an 18 mile decline. Holy shit. Just saw this thing sitting on a rock. Bigger than my head, it looks like. Like I knew those others were, I thought they were gopher. I have no even guess for this guy. Huh. It looks just like the little branches. That's why it's going in there. I'll post it in the snake identification group when we, next time we stop. And I'll you have it. one? Apparently chap at every mile marker he sings that damn song I would walk 500 miles I hate that song but I just heard him 
belting it out in the distance. So we must be coming up on 200 miles, guys. Two hundred miles down, guys. That's a big deal. Walking down here, I kind of did the math, and I realized that I just have to do what I just did twelve more times until I'm finished with this trail. And maybe that sounds like a lot to some of you, but to me, it doesn't at all. Um, I feel like I'm just getting started, and I know before long we're going to be halfway done. And this is just going to blow by, just like the AT did. <sighs> 200. Feeling great physically. Overall, just in a good mood. Um, I don't really have any complaints. The snow could calm down, but that's just part of the PCT. And if you guys are still following along after 200 miles, I appreciate y'all too. Because y'all are a part of this journey also. I mean... This is a completely different experience because I'm vlogging, not in a better or worse way necessarily, but it's different. So I appreciate all of you. Chap and Roadrunner got a room at the Days Inn in Banning, um, and they offered they offered to share the room with me. So I have to make a decision here if I want to push the 19 mile day out and join them tonight or if I want to camp just before the highway have a short couple miles to the road and then join them tomorrow for a Nero they were planning to hike 19 miles stay in town tonight and then have a zero a full zero tomorrow I don't really need a zero a long Nero would be nice so I, I may opt for that just to save a few bucks but to reiterate, another point that should be made is we're going to be getting to the Sierras early. So if we want to take a few extra zeros and have a little more fun, now's the time to do it. Because we do kind of have some time to kill for the weather window. See what I feel like at the end of the day. There's another 200 sign. There's Chapin Roadrunner down there. Hey guys, wave! <laughs> it's right at this second 200 sign, so it's kind of neat. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Congrats on 200. Woo! I don't know why there's always multiple mile markers. It's like someone makes one and then. A little farther down the trail there'll be a better clearing or something with more space or someone will make an even bigger one so us hikers hit one we take all the pictures we do the videos and then we hit another one that's even better I've even seen like three or four on the AT for some some mile markers it's kind of funny but we only need one guys and the funniest part is that they're usually not <laughs> at the exact mile marker anyway they're usually just a little bit off so then we're second guessing ourselves like, oh, did we hit it yet? Did we not? Is it back? Do we got to go backwards? So it's, it's a whole thing. See, here we go. A third one. The biggest one. And it's nowhere near the 200 mile mark. <laughs> Four. Kind of like this one. I think what happens is people look at their gut hook or far out, whatever you want to fucking call it, who cares? They look at their app and they realize that they passed it and no one wants to walk back to find the actual mile marker. You fucking kidding me with this? Nowhere near 200. This one looks official though. Just stopped for lunch with the group. Right before lunch, there was this rock outcropping. And um, in far out, it said that there was a beehive at this outcropping. So I was thinking it was gonna be like a 
cool looking beehive like hanging from the rock or something but this beehive was like in between the rocks and like when you pass the rock formation on trail bees were just going left and right like all across the trail so I fucking hauled ass through there I had some bees following me so I got off trail for a second finally got away from the bees met up with the others and then uh, Roadrunner was stopped you know a little bit ahead of us on trail she had heard a rattlesnake and saw a rattlesnake right in front of her um, and apparently the rattlesnakes have been everywhere today all these hikers around us have all seen rattlesnakes I haven't seen any yet but keeping my eyes peeled underneath the bridge. It's a nice hiker hangout. Okay. It's a different kind of trail magic people do for hikers. They leave things, you know, under an overpass like this. Even in trees, somewhere on trail, they might leave, you know, sodas or, in this case, they had some fruit down there. Uh, they had sunscreen, soap, things like that. But sometimes people leave food. They don't come back for the trash or they don't check it regularly. So, you know, that's not good for the wildlife and the environment and shit. All right, well, I got us an Uber <laughs> because we're on a middle of the fucking nowhere road. The highway you can't hitch from. No way in hell there's nowhere for anyone to even pull over. So we're just, well, there's two mattresses here, but we're literally just sitting along the road waiting for this Uber. Had a successful Uber. We are at the Days Inn in Banning, California. Just getting ready to check out our room. Damn it, the Days in Black Kitty Cat just popped across the fence there. We all got showered. Threw on our rain gear. Now we're headed to get dinner and do laundry. Alright everyone, got our laundry done. Went to a local restaurant and got some cheap crappy food. 
I finally got my chicken wings, so I'm happy about that. Uh, 19.1 miles today, it was a good day. After we got out of the snow, it was nice and cruisy miles, which felt really good, finally. Um, we're all tired, kind of tucked away in our quilts like a bunch of heathens. Gonna finish this free beer provided by Chap and catch up with you guys in the morning. Tonight, I wanna say I love you to my kitty cat, mama girl. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, ladies and gents. Sorry, I can't really see. The sun's kind of bright. Just walking across the street from the hotel to the Starbies. Gonna get some breakfast and get this day going. Been trying to upload some videos all morning. Uh, thinking it's gonna be a zero day, because why not? I mean, at the end of the day, this is a fucking vacation, right? I might as well rest a little bit. Yeah, not sure what we're gonna get into today. We have to resupply. Um, but that's really the only chore that we have, so it's gonna be a lot of laying around and doing the social media thing. Fucking Wally World resupply. We don't get this very often. Got that resupply. Got some extra candy and shit to eat tonight. Now we're walking our groceries up there to the In N Out. Because I've never had In N Out and I can't wait to fucking try it. This is almost like a five guys. The way it's set up? Yeah. Well, yeah. This is how you get them. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I got. Oh, wow. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Doesn't the sauce just taste like a Big Mac sauce? Yeah. Do, do what you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta say, I'm a fan. <laughs> New trail hat. It. It's weird. Since our adventure at in and out this is what we've been doing all day. Exactly what Chap's doing. We just had large, cheap meals at Taco Bell. Um, and that's about all I have for you. Zero days are gonna be known as the subscriber killers uh, because I have absolutely nothing to show you. <laughs> Except what my bed looks like. <laughs> All right, everyone, just got another shower. Um, again, I'm sorry, zero days, there isn't much to show you. We just kind of lay in our beds and play on our phones mostly. Um, not sure what the plan is tomorrow. I know that Big Bear is the next town stop, and we're hoping to do that in three to four days. We have a couple more sketchy sections coming up, namely Mission Creek. Gotta look more into that, see what the conditions are currently like. The last we heard it wasn't too bad, but I know like back when we started it was in pretty rough shape. I think the trails kind of like washed away and uh, some parts were impassable at one point. So I'm gonna have to look more into that. Other than that, I got nothing else for you tonight. No one's alone, love you guys, hope you're doing well. Good night everyone. See you in the morning to get back on track.